How can we see what's invisible inside works of art in an accurate, non-intrusive way? Researchers here at the University of Oviedo in northern Spain think they have the answer, and it's found in a material called graphene. Graphene acts as a frequency multiplier. It's able to generate higher frequency signals out of lower frequencies in a relatively easy way. Graphene also allows us to go deeper into the work of art and to identify the chemical composition of its materials. The pictures obtained with the graphene scanner are then combined with image processing techniques and 3D high-performance scanning to generate images of sealed 3D objects whose hidden secrets can then be studied more easily. What we're seeing here is the, the real uh, albedo, the real color, virtually illuminated and virtually uh, recorded by a camera. Technically, the most uh, challenging part is to combine all the individual scans. These scans need to be automatically aligned. Um, and if that is not perfectly done, like on a 0.2 millimeter accuracy, then we get um, really bad uh, color reconstruction. The scanner was designed by scientists from a European research project studying both 3D objects and paintings which have a two-dimensional surface. The scanner has a versatility much needed in the world of art conservation and restoration, the researchers say. Existing scanners for works of art are currently very expensive. Our technology has been designed to be much cheaper. It results in a compact, lighter scanner that can easily be transported to museums or laboratories to study objects. Conservation experts at the Asturias Museum of Fine Arts provided researchers with canvases to test their device. It was also tested on valuable historical pieces from the museum's collection. And the results were encouraging. We can discover the depth of the varnish and the colour layers. We can see if there were preliminary drawings beneath the actual painting and what the materials used for those drawings were. We're also trying to see if the scanner is able to identify the different materials inside the painting, like varnishes, binders and pigments. So how and with what other technologies could this research eventually be used? Data from the graphene scanner is currently being used to develop a smartphone application based on augmented reality. Museum visitors could then interact with the artworks in a deeper and more engaged way, the scientists say. The application allows the user to actually see inside the painting. For instance, in this painting, we've discovered a mysterious number, 34, drawn underneath the colour layers. We've also discovered that one of the capes was originally green. The graphene scanner and its applications could become a market reality in less than five years, the researchers hope.